The other uh, big issue, which I might talk a little bit more about if I'm not using up too much of your time, is that uh, insecticides are an enormous problem for bees. And uh, in Europe in particular, insecticide use is killed, uh, seems to be a, a big problem, is killing large amounts of bees. So we're all going to die. <laughs> Einstein was right. It's not true. There is, there is hope. Um, and the hope really, uh, from my point of view, is, comes from genetics. Honeybees are a fantastically difficult species to do genetics on. So um, honeybees mate on the wing. And so you get a honeybee queen that hatches as a virgin and then it flies out of the hive and goes way up in a kilometre up and drones follow it and they go and mate with it. And mating, a drone mating with a queen is fatal to the drone. It's a fatal erection, which is just fun. And, uh, <laughs> and the queens mate with multiple uh, drones. So they're inseminated with lots of different semen and it's all very complicated. So you think about, you know, when I do genetics, I often do it with fruit flies where I've got a male fly and a female fly and I know where they crossed and they don't mate a kilometre up in the sky. Mating honeybees is difficult. So doing genetics in honeybees is even harder. But you can do artificial insemination. I know a man with a little stick who can artificially inseminate honeybees. And so we can actually breed honeybees. And through the mark of the fantastic Mark Goodwin, through the work of the fantastic Mark Goodwin at Plant and Food Research in Hamilton, he's shown in recent years that there is genetic variation in New Zealand populations of bees for resistance to mites. So he can breed populations of bees that don't need treatments against mites. They're not good enough to be released uh, into the wild yet, but these are, there, is, there is at least variation in this trait. Okay? And if there's variation in the trait, then everyone knows we can do selective breeding, we can do the artificial insemination, and we can actually breed lines of bees that are resistant to these diseases. Bee generation time, if you do it right, can be about four weeks. So we have the potential of selecting very, very quickly for traits that we're interested in. One of the great things that happened in 2006 is the whole honeybee genome was sequenced. So we now have the tools to do the genetics to actually breed bees that will be better for our environment. I've worked in insects uh, all my career. Um, I've worked with uh, locusts and, the, in fact, the African plague locust. And I've worked with a two-spotted spider mite. It's not actually an insect, but, you know, you'll let me. I've worked with bees. I've worked with aphids. I've worked with a whole bunch of organisms. And if, whenever I talk to people about this, it, it, usually scientists, they say, ooh, how could you work on insects? They're so yucky. <laughs> We've got to get over this. Most insects in our environment are beneficial. Okay? They do ecological jobs that are important. And yet, we have at our potential in every supermarket broad range chemicals to kill insects. You can go and get black flag, it will kill everything that moves. It'll kill, an arth it'll kill most arthropods. It'll kill nematodes, that stuff. It'll kill little wormy things. If you sprayed it down your throat, you'd lose pinworm. These are nasty chemicals. Insects are older than vertebrates, okay? Insects arose probably 400 million years ago. Insects are the most successful animals on Earth, okay? Beetles, there are more beetles on Earth than any other animal. More species of beetle than any other animal. And the next most species group of, of organisms on Earth, of animals on Earth, are mites. And yet, you can go and buy a tin of, of insecticide, which will kill all of them indiscriminately. Can you imagine going into the shop and buying a, a chemical you could spray that just killed vertebrates? You know, it killed rats in your house and the dog next door and your children. And it's, it's a remarkable thing that because we don't like insects, they're yucky, we put, people, put into people's hands insecticides that are so broad range they'll kill everything. And then the problem is much worse because any farmer out there spraying insecticides for crop protection is not spraying insecticides which will kill an individual pest insect. They're killing insecticides that kill everything. In West Africa, uh, there's a, a little sandfly which carries a horrifying disease. And our response to that is not to try and kill that insect or deal with the horrifying disease. It's to spray DDT on rivers in West Africa, which kills every insect out there. You know, we are not sensible with insects. We think that insects are all yucky. Let's ignore them and let's kill them. So one of the things, you know, take your can of black flag and throw it from you. It's a bad, bad thing. If you want to kill the flies in your house, get some spiders. They're much nicer. You know, and you can watch them when they eat the thing that's really cool. <laughs> you know, ants are a problem, but, you know, ants are cool. I think it would be a privilege. In Dunedin, we don't have ants because they go outside and just... But here, you know, you have to keep your sugar in the fridge. Take it out. Let the ants have some sugar, for God's sake. You know, they don't do any harm. Be nice to insects. And particularly be nice to honeybees. And as I say, if any of you have any wish to keep honeybees, 
look into it. There are beekeeping associations in Auckland that would be glad to have you as members of very nice people who would love to show you how to keep hives. And you get honey out of it, and you get to watch the bees. I just want to tell you, I have this wonderful new room in my lab uh, at Otago. It's a little room full of bees. And uh, it's got a little anteroom so that you don't, the bees don't get into my lab. And I have been known for several hours to take a chair and sit in the anteroom and watch through a plate glass window, just watch the bees coming in and out. The most relaxing thing you can do. Get one for your garden and you're saving New Zealand's economy.